Good morning, good morning, guys. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. Look at that bright sun over there. Do you guys recognize that truck over there? Huh? Yeah. Can you guys see that, what it says on the side there? You see that guy in there? You guys recognize that? Huh. I don't know who it is, but looks like a familiar guy. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just getting ready to get out of here, so we'll be uh, we'll be making our way home. My goal for today is making it up to Fargo, North Dakota. That's the goal for today. So we'll see if that actually happens. But hey, with the nice sunshine we got right now, let's get the show rolling. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is it guys, here we are back on the road, yeah, and it's only like five miles to the border of Iowa, and isn't it weird, almost every time you cross the border into a different state, you cross a river, yes indeed, quite often that is the case. Crossing border, entering Iowa. So welcome back to Iowa ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, I just find that interesting, you know? The state border is basically pretty much in the middle of almost any kind of river, you know? <laughs> it's like weird how that works, but that's, I guess, how they set it up when they made the states, you know? Or when they divided all the states or whatever you want to call it, but uh, yeah, me and Jukebox met up there last night there at that same truck stop. and. Uh, we just felt like, well, we just recently made a video together, so uh, only like a week ago when we did that, so we decided not to have any cameras up there last night. We just wanted to enjoy a nice quiet time and have a little supper there yesterday. That was it, you know. But uh, it got pretty darn cold here overnight. It went, it went down to like three degrees Celsius there, and it's still only three degrees. <laughs> there for a second I thought it had gone up to four there when I looked previously, but now it's gone down to three again. So it's almost at the freezing point, guys. Just shy of freezing right now. So good thing we're not getting any moisture in the air right now, right? Otherwise it could. I mean, if it was, you know, moisture in the air, it could actually be snowing right now. It actually could. That's how close to freezing point it is. But hey, we're uh, just hammered down and on our way home, sweet home. That's right. And then we're going to put the truck in the shop again and find out if they can... Uh, do something with my turbo or whatever is causing me to be smoking like crazy and, or my truck to be smoking like crazy not me but you know but yeah here we are just cruising on down the road just coming through Cedar Rapids Iowa guys yeah and it is finally starting to warm up a little bit but uh, hey the Pepsi Cola, Pepsi something there, factory, they got all kinds of factories along this stretch of the highway here, and I know I've shown a little bit of this area before, but yeah, I figure, you know what, why not show it again, you know, but yeah, we're just cruising along there, already been on the road now for about two hours, and we're making our way further north. Yes, indeed, we are. Yeah, we will probably be home tomorrow afternoon sometime, and then uh, we will just be doing a reset and go again. So we'll be going uh, Sunday again. And the way it looks like, 
Yeah, I'll be home almost exactly the same time as I was last time. So, uh, it's kind of weird how it worked this, this last two trips here, you know? It's like, I get home on a Friday around 11 o'clock in the morning. Exactly what I did last uh, last time and it looks like it's going to be very close to that again this time so kind of interesting but hey eh? it's the way it works I guess and then we'll be going out Sunday so now I'm going to be curious on what kind of load they're gonna give us on Sunday it would be kind of interesting if they give us the same kind of load again right well that would be quite interesting but I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see, I guess, right? Oh, look at the beautiful trees here to the right. Look at them red colors there. Man, that's gorgeous. I love that kind of dark, kind of brownish red there, you know? Like, that is beautiful, man. And I know Scott from Duluth was talking about that. He said, uh, because we had a very wet summer, uh, some of these, these trees were supposed to have some beautiful colors, and they sure do. This here is a very beautiful color fall, I guess you could say. Yeah. Beautiful time of the season, but uh, spring is a beautiful time of the season too. Well, summer too, winter too. You see some awesome things in winter, you see some awesome things in summer. You know, all year long you get to see different types of natures, you know. But yeah, anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here and show you what we can and things that we come up with, whatever that is, right? Alrighty, guys, we have now just made our way over to I-35. Yes, indeed, we have. I don't know exactly how far it is up to the Minnesota border yet, but hey, it's going to be a little bit, I guess. But uh, hey. Looks like we got about 160 miles to go and then we'll be in Minneapolis. So let's put the hammer down and uh, hope that we get there before the big rush hour hits. So that will be, uh, it'll be about two and three quarter hours driving, I guess, up to there. So uh, yeah, it's already 12.30. So it'll be 130, 2.30. About quarter after three by the time we get there. Right around the time when, you know, some traffic will start already, so. But hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Get around uh, Minneapolis and then we'll be pretty much in the, in the clear. After that, we really don't have any big cities to go through anymore. And Fargo's, you know, I mean, never really encountered too much of a traffic issue in Fargo so so then it's the open road pretty much like you see up here that's all we can see over there too so but yeah I'm enjoying the beautiful sunny day that we have today I hope wherever you guys are it's a beautiful day as well. Well guys, we have still not gone through Minneapolis and it's already four o'clock in the afternoon. Reason why we have not done that yet is I didn't have a really good night's sleep last night so I kind of woke up early already. And, and so I got kind of tired here and uh, you know, I don't really work very well if uh, I didn't have my proper sleep so uh, I was starting to get really drowsy and whatever, so I decided, well, I'll pull her in over there at one of them rest areas there, and I laid myself down for an hour, and yeah, ended up being an hour and a half by the time I finally got out of bed. So here we are, still not even in <laughs> Minneapolis yet. We're still 47 miles away yet, so uh, we go, well. Better safe than sorry, you know, like if you're tired, I always say it's a good idea, whatever, if you're tired, pull over and get yourself a nap done, and now I feel much better, I can go again, and I feel relief, and 
now at least I feel like driving again and I don't uh, think I'm all over the road anymore I, well I don't think I was too much there anyways but you know how it goes when you get tired you know you, you're not as quick and reacting and you know you're all over the road and stuff like that usually and so I said well before I make an accident or something like that I'll pull her over and care if I get an hour and a half home later it doesn't really matter to me I'd much rather be safe than not make it home at all right or somebody else not making it home because of my doing right so, uh, so we had us a little nap yes indeed we did but hey I don't feel one bit guilty about it I feel good about it you know we're just giving her again We'll see if we can still make her to Fargo tonight, but that's up to debate yet if we will or not, but I kind of think we should be able to, but look at that truck. Look at that. He's like one car length behind that car. Like that is just way too close for a big semi truck like that. You should never be tailgating a, you know, especially if you're a big truck like that. That is not a good idea. Like, I mean, what about if something ran in front of the, the car there and that car had to slam on its brake? I mean, there's no way he could have stopped on time. That's just dangerous. Some people, man, I mean, it's a local driver and local delivery driver anyways. And But still, you're supposed to be a professional driver, you know? Like, jeez, you know, don't be tailgating like that. But anyways, look up here to the left. Looks like we got some of these uh, jets up here. They kind of put them up, I guess, as a little memorial or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what the reasoning is they put them up here, but looks pretty cool. They got three of them there. And there is an airport right there too, so been wanting to film that over the years and never actually got my camera turned on on time by the time I see them, you know. And today, I guess, was my lucky day. I guess so. We all come to Minneapolis, guys. Yeah! Here we are on the 494 on the southbound of Minneapolis Bypass. Yeah! And as you can see, it's rush hour. It's rush hour, all right. <laughs> yeah, well, this is what I suspected if I get in here by this time of the day, but Okay, I had to take me a nap to be safe out here, so that's fine. That's quite all right with me. I'm just going to take her easy going through here, and that should prevent us from having any accidents or anything like that. Be cautious and keep an eye out when people want to move over or slow down rapidly or quickly whatever you want to work you want to use and then we shall be all right unless somebody else makes a mistake that can always happen but we do have our cameras rolling so my dash cam is always rolling so I always try to make sure that it is on and working and all that good stuff so something does happen we should probably have it on video but yeah it is rush hour and this is what i knew it was gonna do it's five o'clock in the afternoon right now so what do you expect right that's why i moved into the second right lane so that way it's a little easier for people to move on and off the highway you know at least they got the right lane a little bit open there so that way I'm not blocking them and that's usually the most challenging uh, stuff here around big cities you know if you're in the right lane and you're going at a decent speed and then all of a sudden somebody wants to come and come onto the highway then you almost got to slam on your brakes so that way they can come in so I like to usually move over into the second right lane if I can and that way I'm out of their way and it's a little safer merging on and off the highway I think but yeah here we are in Minneapolis already 
Okay guys, we did not quite make it all the way down to Fargo. The reason being is uh, we had that traffic jam there in uh, Minneapolis, right? So when I got to uh, Rochelle here at this truck stop, I only had like uh, 15 minutes left on the logbook. And it was like uh, 40 miles to the truck stop up there in Fargo. So uh, yeah, I couldn't make it. I had too much of a delay in, in uh, Minneapolis. So, uh, but that's okay, you know? I mean, it only delays me by 45 minutes or whatever. So uh, no big deal, right? We'll still get home tomorrow. It's not that far. Only like two and a half, three and a half, four. I would say about five hour drive, so uh, so yeah, well, whatever, we'll still be home around lunchtime, so that's fine, but uh, anyways, we appreciate you guys tuning in today, so uh, hey, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, share the video, and if you're new to our channel, we'd love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button down there, if you did, thank you very much, and we will look forward to seeing you here in the comments down below, so have a good one. See you tomorrow morning. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.